That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. The Matildas' dream of World Cup glory is alive and well after a 4-0 victory over Canada. So we top Group B. My name is Ollie Gill. Joining me, Melissa Barbieri and, of course, Archie Thompson. Bubs, we can relax. We're through. We can. A nice early goal does that. The nerves are settled and, you know, they brought it home really, really sweetly. It was a strong victory over Canada. What was it, do you think? Was it formation-based, change of squad? What was it really that stamped that emphatic victory? I think, you know, the injuries or the concussions to Ivy Lewis and Mary Fowler did throw a spanner in the works. Um, so I love how, you know, after those players came back into the squad, Gustafsson actually formulated a great plan in terms of Van Egmont retains her spot after doing well against Nigeria. He sends Ford out wide. Mary Fowler now has her back to goal um, in replace of Sam Kerr. And I think Hayley Rasso stepped it up uh, massively. So when you've got Van Egmont playing through balls, getting onto the end of things and, and being at the top of the box, being a threat the whole game, it's really imperative for us uh, to be successful. And one name we heard there, Hayley Razzo, we've been wanting her to shine throughout the group stage. She finally did it against yeah, Canada. Well, I haven't stopped smiling since that game, but uh, you got to remember 2018, she fractures three vertebrae and doctors are saying, um, you might not walk again or even play football again. And you know, she's at a World Cup, she has a phenomenal performance and she scores two goals and puts us through to the round of 16. Just a beautiful story. With the group stage now done and dusted, we turn our attention to the round of 16 with the Matildas taking on Denmark in Sydney on Monday. And Bubs, how do we beat the Danes? Uh, it's going to be a tough match. It's, uh, it's certainly not going to be easy, even though we know the, the Danes quite well. Um, it'll be a tussle in midfield. They have Pernille Harder, formerly of Chelsea. Um, but we've got Katrina Gorry, so that's all good. Uh -huh. uh, Christensen in goals for Denmark. Mackenzie Arnold in ours. It's going to be a clean sheet that gets us through. Um, but then also, you know, you've got so many players out on the field like Kara Cooney Cross up against maybe a senior Brun. She plays for Lyon in France. So it's going to be a huge tussle out there. The big question on everyone's lips is, of course, Sam Kerr. I'm assuming we'll see her play. Do you reckon it'll be off the bench or will she start? Um, I'm not sure if she'll start, but I do feel like she didn't get any minutes against Canada because the girls got it done. Um, so that will put her in good stead for a lot more recovery in that calf. So the more minutes, the better. It's do or die now, so you're going to have to see her out there, I think. And Archie, the good news is yes. we know Denmark reasonably well after yep. playing them in October. Yes, it's positive people. We beat them 3-1 in October. Caitlin Ford got a brace. Uh, she came into this competition with some great form in front of goals. She hasn't got off the duck just yet, mm -hmm. um, but I believe she will in this game. So we're going to win. That's what we're saying here, right? Certainly 100%. are. Home and hose, buddy. <laughs> So much has already unfolded in the tournament. Bubs, who have you liked the look of so far? I've been absolutely surprised with Japan. I thought they were in a rebuilding stage, my bad. Um, they were underwhelming in their performances up in the lead up of the tournament. But Miyazawa banging two goals in the first game and then another two. You've got Oweki up top, you've got Tanaka absolutely clinical in front of goal. Scoring 11 goals in the first lot of games is absolutely brilliant. Clinical in front of goals against Spain. Three shots on target, three goals. Yeah, they've been awesome to watch, haven't they, Archie? Amazing. Who else have you liked the look of? I like the Colombians. Uh, that first game against Korea Republic, they showed some brilliance there. And to take it to the Germans and win that match when they're one of the favourites was amazing. And Linda Casado, what an amazing story. 14 makes her professional debut. 15 gets diagnosed with ovarian cancer, has surgery to remove a tumour. Um, chemotherapy, uh, intensive chemotherapy, and 18 scores arguably the goal of the tournament. Quick feet, reminded me of myself. Um, they are one to one. Yeah, it's been a fantastic story, hasn't it? I've been really liking the Lionesses, of course, won through all three games in the group stages. 6-1 over China, and Lauren James has been absolutely phenomenal on her debut, which has been great to see. That's going to be such a big game in the round of 16 against Nigeria, and of course, scary to think that the Matildas could face them in the semi-final. But speaking of the Aussies, we take on Denmark in Sydney on Monday. Final score predictions, what do you think? I'm thinking 2-1 and Sammy Kerr to get one. Fingers crossed, I'd love to see it. Archie? So would I, but I'm going to go 2-1 also, but no. I think we will Superstar. We're sticking with the twos, I'm going to go 2-0, but this is going to be a huge game, and fingers crossed, the Matildas will get through.
Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.